Okay, we get a super ball here. You have everything you need to solve this puzzle. So this is forward progress. But we need to return there with the super ball to activate the pipe. And uh, we did it by going through here, yes. Okay, and following the pipes to the corner, dropping a bit, pressing A a bit, pressing A a bit more. Oh man, this mechanic can change so much about the game. I have to go back to so many places. So we want to go over here and we, we don't want to drop the ball so okay let's look where this leads to a secret area with a chest Thought damage plus two and we're now up here so oh we can get above that wall now because those are metal it seems from here and also that one has to be stomped upon Okay, good to know. So if that's the case, I think we want to go out here and up there. So we'll have to shoot that thingy twice again for the elevator to come down, that pipe. Why do we have to do that again? I don't know. Ask the idiot that's playing. Yeah, we don't need any elevators anymore. This is also metal. Yes. Okay. That's not how I wanted it to happen, so we go towards this place now. We're also way above the map here. Now we can get now go so many places that are beyond that were beyond our reach before. And this is like a rudimentary shaped landscape, so I'm not really sure if we're even supposed post to explore here but something like that nook over there yes makes me think we are gun damage plus one worst upgrade ever that's not what I said that's what the game said so they hide something they call themselves the world up first upgrade ever, they might want us to explore further here. Okay, there's more big pipes above. Okay. I think we can now climb fairly high. Um, don't think we are supposed to climb this high. So I only wanted to go up that pipe over there, which we can barely see, to go on top of this roof, but now interesting if I look over there this roof gets blurry and if I look over there it's fine so it has some coins up on it. I'll be taking turns slowly going down 
think that this, this is still safe to land on. Oh, that might have been a mistake. And that's not below me, that's below me. Okay, no chance of getting up here again. I'm just taking this chest. Stomp radius. Now three meters. Oh, we should go... for this, as this will also allow us to go up. So this one, this pipe does nothing more. This points me straight ahead, as it leads towards here. So now I have to hit that. Wow, uh, that might be quite difficult. And we get another Stomp Radius upgrade. Ah, no, that, now we can access this place again, but there are... Oh, there are the difficult enemies now. Because I wanted to solve that, because looking at my recording, I saw what to do there. I don't know if it's worth it. We have to fight so much. And looking in the lower left corner, we are now at 76 of our awesome meter. We only need four more, so uh, for, for the house in town. For that one. For this one. And we didn't get this one. Oh, and this one is a ranged one. I think I'm better at range. Okay. I hope they're not spawning more. F oh, oh, I shouldn't have aborted my natural healing. I should have waited to approach the cactus. Okay, so was like we had to do this so we could press that button to get the super ball. The second part that I saw thought of was deleting the cube up there, just dropping uh, this one through here, so it could fall from top to bottom. And no, this wasn't just, just wasn't the right angle to shoot up, so we got that. Plus five health region, that's great. That's really great, that's a great upgrade. We can now also get back up there if we want to. But let's just go to Blue Will. As I suppose Blue Will will not be like our enemy if we get there, but our, will become our ally. It's just a common trope to have the bad guys not be the bad guys. I think they'll go for that here. So what was here? Everything to solve this puzzle. I will need a super ball. I don't know what this is. We have to roll something in here. So I think we have to roll the super ball this place. To roll on here. Then we have to Jump this. Oh, okay.
There is no invisible wall. There's a glass wall. And it's not that invisible. So if we go here, yeah, it has to, the super bell has to land here and open that gate. So we were doing everything right, but we were running against glass like an idiot. That's enough. Oh. Yeah, physics shenanigans. God damn it. So now it's more in the middle. I hope that helps. But physics puzzles aren't always the best choice. Because it can just fall off to the damn side. God damn it. Can I just do this? I can. Why can't I do this? Damn it. So we just have to hope. Well. Just go straight, 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 just go straight. Yes. Needed a few tries, so I hope there's a button I can press yet. So this ah uh, might have to do that again later. I don't like that. So there's something here. I don't know what it does. There's darkness over here. Nothing here. And I've also seen that there's something there. Like fearless and jump here. Or damage times two. That's an important upgrade. So if we now press this, this will just open. And that up the stairs has nothing to do with it. And we're now done with this part. So that was our official way out of the building, instead of just jumping off. Oh, that are too much. Those are too much. What the fuck? How did that hit me? Yeah, and really we had to sheath them because that was our only hope. Okay. So now we are supposed to backtrack. So I suppose we can now go through some place back there where we couldn't go before. We are already here, and this is still open because I opened it up again. They don't respawn, because they are not like the grave enemies, they only respawn by... ...pressing... ...by... by... ...enemies only respawn by the grave mechanic and not by this mechanic, so... I'm curious, does the normal normal thing become yellow? Yes, that's what I thought. 
when I saw the yellow gate and the yellow MacGuffin thing. And the Super Bowl didn't work. Okay. Oh! Did we have archers before? Or are they new? I'm not quite sure. So that's already pointing in the right direction. Yes, of course. And we get combo damage, plus 25. Your gun combo explosion or causes 25 more damage. Ah, that's the gun combo. Ah, okay. That's the gun combo. Okay, so... I remember, don't really remember what's up here, other than, wow, that coin's up there. No metal to climb on. And the other side had a shortcut to place, I think. Shortcut to an earlier place, like shortcut to this place, where we couldn't go that way before. That might be the way we are supposed to go. We have now an awesome meter of 79. So I suppose I should go towards the way back to my village. And hope to get... Uh, one secret on the way. I hope there are still are secrets hidden somewhere. Okay, we are back into this tutorial land. That was... was it? Ah, this was the beam. Okay. Now I'm hearing creepy noises in my apartment because... I just heard a door close and I know that I'm alone here. So... That's not always nice. Did we arrive to the, to that chest up here? Up there? Did we? Did we make it to that chest? Closed or open? I don't remember. At least it's clear that we approached from the wrong side here. Is the that one is still closed? And it's not made of metal, so we still don't have the mechanic for that. Killing the mage users first, because I don't like them. I mean, like a melee guy hitting me is okay, but a ranged guy with a fast fire attack can just do so much harm to me. Is that out of metal? I remember that thing. Is it? It's made out of metal. Okay. Going up. And there was also a stump location back in the village. There are two, two spots with coins up there, and from there we might be able to jump to there. Okay. Ah, I can't stomp out of those. Okay, now we have this one. Okay. Ah, wow. Uh, at first I thought these were leaves, but these are sponges, because we now know that the leaves fall from trees, so... We just sw soak the sponge with water, 
and hopefully manage to add it into here without losing that that water so that's water there maybe we have to stomp it to release the water no that's not it but we uh, can now hit the tree and now leaves are falling inside and now we can press the button and we get Health plus 10. Nom nom. Max health increased by 10. Don't try this again. It only works once. And we have another place where we have to try that because... Yeah. Because it will also... I think it will also get us maximum health. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I see the sword did a good job. Ah, that was the person who gave me the sword, I presume. We got inside here and the stomp damage plus 33 percent and we now have an awesome meter of 81 and we had we still have that place here and we still have to, to return to our home that we will do we, we will do next but this awesome door we can open now and we get Stomp damage plus 33%. Yeah, okay. That wasn't as interesting as I hoped. Oh, yeah. That's where we're missing those. Not in this corner. No, can't read that. Nothing over there, so only this part. Adventure kit at Murray, him guy's hair, and the cat shed, which is a Pokemon reference. Also, I saw something. I saw this weird things that make no sense to me when I looked at the video, so I want to try going down this path. Does it help in some way to go down that path? Not really. Did we overlook anything else? Maybe in here? Something in here? Don't there... aren't there enemies in here? There aren't. Just... on top of these. Okay. Look for something here. Okay. Maybe in the next room. So there wasn't something something to overlook there. Or oh, here, here. Okay. So when I saw these wood planks at the side of the screen, I thought clearly I missed something there, but it wasn't there. It was here. Okay. Not up there, but over here. Okay. Oh, it is up here. And it's directly above the other secret. Okay. Okay, these, this boost of coins would have been most welcome in the beginning part. Now it's like, yeah, 200 coins. Yay. Wow. So, now I think this is explored. Thoroughly. 